Hello everybody, this is Cryptic Nexus, also known as Anthony, and today I've got an interesting video for you. So, I'm currently recording this with my Note eh, Note 5, sorry, had a brain fart, and I'm going to be showing off the new Samsung software called, yeah, called Game Tuner. Right there. And what this software does is allows you to change the quality of your game. So, we're going to go through all the presets here at the bottom, starting with extreme low, all the way to high, then into the custom settings to allow for um, 2K resolution, and then back down to extreme low to show you the quality differences between each setting and the potential that it has to save battery. The reason is because the lower the, or the less hard your GPU has to run, the more battery you can potentially save. So the extreme low is maximum saving, I can't read, maximum power savings. So it puts the game into 480p mode at 30 FPS. Uh, again, I'm recording at 60. So let's get started. I will be demonstrating Goat Simulator today. First, I am going to turn this game down because this is the second time I'm shooting this video because I had the game sound up like a dumb ah. Dumb ah. Dumb, dumb ass. Okay, so here we have the game. And as you can see, the camera does not turn super fast because it's running at 30 FPS. And we can look at the foliage. Ugh foliage and see you know it's fuzzy um, let's go down and look at the roller coaster as you can see the roller oop car thanks as you can see the roller coaster has a fair bit of aliasing and jagginess to it so let's step it up now we'll go to low so all it does is make the resolution a little bit, whoop, a little bit higher. Uh, minimize battery by optimizing screen. So yes, resolution goes up a little higher. Sorry about that. Home, goat. All right. Hmm. I'm happy this game loads really fast on this phone. I'm just, yeah. Okay, play, play. Go town. So now we should be at 720p, I want to say. So as you can see, the uh, foliage looks a little bit better. We're still running at 30 frames per second. And we'll go down here and look at the roller coaster again. And as you can see, the roller coaster doesn't. Ah, eh, grass. Get out of my way. The roller coaster doesn't have as much jagginess to it. So let's go ahead and switch back and go to medium, which again, enhances the uh, gameplay by going up to 60 FPS. So let's go back to Goat Simulator. Do, 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 do. All right, back in. So let's go back to Beach Bay. Whoop, wrong direction. All right, so now, as you can see, the camera moves a heck of a lot faster because we're at 60 FPS. The foliage doesn't really look much different. And the roller coaster, again, doesn't look too much different because we're only changing FPS that time, mainly. So now we're going to go up to 1080p at 60. And do -do -do, go sim. And now that we're at 1080p 60, you should be able to see the clarity it adds. Oh, I do want to um, put a disclaimer in. If you see any lag, it's probably not the game. It's because I'm recording this with my phone and playing it on my phone and all that. So, as you can see, the foliage looks a lot better. And let's go down to the 
uh, roller coaster again and you can see that it looks a whole lot better there's not a lot of aliasing um, if you look out at the dock you can see the individual uh, struts for the bar there I really can't word well today the handle there with all the each strut so now let's go into the uh, custom settings go to goat sim and we'll put this all the way up to 100 so what that does is it makes it 2k resolution at 60 fps again lag may occur because I am recording and capture or playing yeah. so do this again so now we are at 2k so camera's still running nice and smooth and we'll go over so the foliage looks super sharp still and let's go down and look at the roller coaster roller coaster looks pretty much the same and the dock things uh, holding up the bar look fine so now to do some contrast we are going to take this and put it all the way down to 30 leave it at 60 fps but we'll make the resolution 480p so you can see the contrast between extreme ultra blah 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 2k and 480p so it is quite astonishing how much this game changes I mean look at that and let's go over here you can already see all the aliasing all the jagginess to the uh, roller coaster and then if you look at the pier things that I pointed out earlier see how they pretty much disappear until we get up real close to them and now they're there that's because of the resolution decrease and the aliasing that is caused by uh, the resolution not being there. Anyways, this has been Cryptic Nexus, also known as Anthony. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. I need to stare at the camera, not at my face. Um, please subscribe, and you'll see me in the next video. For everybody curious, the reason I haven't put up any videos other than, boom, videos, is because I've had surgery and I just got back to work about a month ago, so I haven't had time to really do anything. I was off for three months, so I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things. And this video and the uh, other talking head shot of me in this chair... Um, talking about the testing I'm going to be doing with this application will be coming soon so please you know do all that stuff I will link the application in the doobly-doo uh, uh, description down below and I shall talk to you later pictures over there cameras here bye